Hey there and welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome to my channel and thank you so much for being here. My favorite thing happens this time of year. All the cute summer items go on like major clearance and ModCloth is one of those stores that I lurk all the time. I'm like subscribed to their newsletter too so I always know when there's a major sale going on. Anyways I have this massive box to show you. It's a little bit deceiving. There aren't that many items in here. I just did get two pairs of shoes. So I thought I would do a haul for you and let you know how it all fits. I'm super excited. I got so many freaking cute things, but who cares? Let's just get to the good stuff. I'm going to start with the shoes because I was really excited about buying shoes. They have some of like the cutest shoes I've ever seen. I'm just not really willing to pay like $40 a pair. The first pair are these adorable pair of white flats with little hearts on them. I have worn these out like mm, two, three times at this point and they're super cute. I wanted to like save this because they have the cutest like sole on them, but they're already scuffed up. I mean, I've walked around like downtown Boston in these. If you can see they're like tri-colored. Oh God, that looks awful. Anyways, that looks so much cuter when I first got them, I promise you. They're so cute. I love those little hearts. I kind of wish they were red just to like make it pop out a little bit more, but I do like that it's just a little bit of detail. Um, one thing about these shoes, so I believe I got them in a size 10. I don't know how long it's gonna take to break them in, but I've worn them twice already. Both times, they destroyed my heel. My heel is in such bad shape right now, but I couldn't resist. I mean, they're so cute. And they were like $10, if that, maybe. All right, so I have been eyeing these shoes for a really long time. I knew that I was taking a risk getting them. To be honest, I'm not great in any sort of heel. Like I can do wedges, just can't do too much of wedge either. Like I fractured my ankle years ago and it's kind of completely screwed up my ankle since, but I couldn't pass these up. And you'll see, you'll see. How effing cute are these? Look how freaking cute these are. These came in pink, these came in blue. I just like the shade of blue a little bit more than the shade of pink. I think the pink was more of like a salmon color. But these are so cute. I read that the quality wasn't that great, so I wasn't expecting too much. I mean, I got these, I think they were like $11.99, so it was like really, really inexpensive. But I think the quality is really, really nice. Yes, it is going to the colder season and I probably won't be able to wear these that often, but I think this would look cute with socks. Like a white lace sock would look really cute with this. The only thing, like I said, I was taking a risk. These are a little bit too much for me. Like there is quite an arch on that which really just screws up my ankle. But honestly, if nothing else, I can put these on for pictures or just going to dinner if I know I'm not gonna be walking much. Now let's move on to the clothing. A lot of the tops that I really want were just like selling like hotcakes. I felt like it was a race to get to the checkout, but I managed to pick up really, really cute tops. I'm super happy with my choices. So one of the first ones I got was this Bardo top with tricolor stripes. And I didn't know if I was gonna love this. And to be honest, with it on, I don't totally love it as much. It just sits a little bit weird. So Bardo tops sit off the shoulder. And the only thing is this is like a little bit awkward to wear. But aside from that, it's so cute. I've already worn this out once. Love it so, so much. It's super cute. I'm really happy I took a risk. Honestly, again, this was on super sale. I think it was like $8, nothing that extravagant. And I like that it's long sleeve so I can actually transition into fall with this. And it's a little bit on the thicker side. I got this in a 2X because it is super, super stretchy. And I know this type of top kind of needs to be a little bit tighter. These next two items I'm gonna show you, I'm a little bit sad about. The thing with mod cloth, everything is all over the place. So you never know if a garment is gonna fit too big or too small. I do have that whole section where you can check the reviews, but I always just forget to do that for some reason. So these next two items are a little bit too big, but I'm gonna do my best to make it work, to be honest, because I cannot pass up this. Look how freaking cute this is. I'm obsessed with ice cream print. Yes, again, the summer is coming to a close, but I am not opposed to wearing ice cream print in the middle of the fall. This is so, so cute. It's quite large. It fits quite large. I think I got this in a 3X. It's just, it's really large, and I'm trying to figure out a way that I can pull this off. I tried like tucking these into jeans, but they create like a weird bulge. Aside from that, it's super well made. I actually really like the color. I wasn't sure if I was gonna love it, but it's a pastel orange. And honestly, I think it looks pretty cute on. This next piece also fits larger than I was hoping, but I was a little bit deceived by the buttons down the front. I do have a large bust, so I kind of figured I should stick to a larger size, but I definitely could have sized down. 
and it is just this really adorable blouse. I've been eyeing this on the website for so, so long. Honestly though, I'm so glad I splurged. Again, I'm gonna have to kind of figure this out. It does fit much looser than I'd like. You know, I like my clothing to fit a little bit on the tighter sides. I got this in a three, but I am in love. It is a really billowy blouse. Colors are just so adorable. I don't know if you'd call this more of like a blue or a purple. In some lighting, it looks purple to me. In other lightings, it looks blue, like a periwinkle blue or like, you know, kind of a pastel purple. All I know is that I'm so, so happy that I finally, finally own this. It's so cute. I'm in love with the detail. Look at that pussy bow blouse. It does have buttons down the front. The last item, which I actually totally forgot until just right now that I have, is this little bracelet. It's so cute. Actually, it would look really cute with what I'm wearing right now. It's like a little bracelet with a few charms on it. And how the heck does one put this on though? Oh, I love that. Look how cute that is. Look at that. It's just got a few charms on it. It's quite larger than I'd expect it to be, um, but I do like that it falls a little bit lower on my arm. It really actually so suits what I'm wearing right now. I love it so much. And again, this was super, super inexpensive. If you don't look at mod cloth accessories, you're missing. They have some of the cutest accessories, mostly overpriced when it's regular price, but I've really, really been loving bracelets lately. And this is just exactly the kind of bracelet I would look for. Something that's really, really simple and I love it so, so much. Anyways, I'm gonna wrap this video up. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and don't forget you can find new videos for me every Wednesday and every Sunday, and I will see you next time. Bye. This video is something totally related to the stuff that I usually talk about. I feel like I'm ready to talk about it. Um, because it is kind of a sore subject for me. It's not something that I love talking about. As the title says, I dropped out of high school when I was 16 years old. That's not exactly the wisest decision. By no means would I call it the best thing I've ever done in my life. However, I think it's helped me turn out to be the person that I am today. School for me was never easy.